I'm guessing that at least five of us in this room, maybe six people, had the opportunity to experience Feed My Starving Children this week. Would that be accurate? And my guess is that out of the 5,000 people that came to be part of the experience, that so, at least one or two people felt something a little bit different inside of them by the end of their time serving. And I might suggest that that little tugging, that little something that was early, uh, uh, happening inside, was maybe God touching us. You know, I, I wonder sometimes about where God shows up. And uh, I might give you a couple of things that maybe got where God showed up in the last few days. Do you think we humanoids could come up with 5,000 people to make food in a busy, busy culture? Do you think we could get 5,000 people to come out and serve if God wasn't stirring in some of us? Do you think that from, uh, we could maybe get 60-some people to turn this space from a warehouse of chicken, soy, rice, and veggies back into a sanctuary in 66 minutes? But who was counting? Do you think that maybe a little boy that came with his, his classmates of Muslim faith decided that it wasn't okay to come in to a, a Christian place of worship. But after calling his dad, his dad said, they're not worshiping, he bolted in. Do you think that maybe there would be somebody who rarely comes out of their house for maybe health reasons or whatever and came to this at some point in time and said, wow, this was cool. But my other question for you is, why is it that it seems like uh, we only see God in the midst of things that we get experienced here? Because my guess is that God's working in us all the time. In big things like a Feed My Starving Children, but also in the little things. And if you've been on a mission trip with us, if you have gone and uh, served with us in the outpost or served city, one of the questions we ask each of you when you serve is, where did you see God in the midst of the experience that you just had. So I turn that question to you. Where did you see God in the midst of the Feed My Starving Children of the last uh, four days? Was it in the number of people? Was it in the fact that you maybe really truly did save someone's life? Kind of a little dramatic, but true. So when you leave this place, or even, even right now, you sit back and you reflect on where do you see God where did you see God in this? And where do you see God in the everyday? I'll tell you a couple other places that I saw God. 1,022,304 meals. And uh, if you do the math, it comes out to 2,800 kids will get food for a year. That's like filling this sanctuary almost three times. And uh, to know that this food will be in kids' mouths in the next four to six weeks is pretty amazing especially with knowing that some of the countries that the food actually gets to. And God will make sure that that food gets into those kids' mouths and uh, those kids' lives will be saved one child at a time. So for all of you that have engaged, thank you so much. And uh, as you walk out of this place, you're looking for God, not only when you come here, but also in the everyday. Thank you.